So, hi guys, my name is Izzy. I'm a sporadic YouTuber. Today, we are going to be doing my um, haul for the month of October. So, these first books, I'm just going to pretty much tell you the title because I don't think I know too much about any of these. They're just kind of books I saw at the thrift store and I was like, I want it. So, the first book is Hard Love by Ellen Whittingler. The next book is The Body of a Girl by Michael Gilbert. The next one is Zeltan... Zeltown? Is that how you say it? Zeitown? Zeitown? Um, by Dave Edgars. The next book is um, Two Two Stories by Chekhov, um, and that is The Three Sisters and the Cherry Orchard. The next book is a short story collection by John... Dufresne? 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 I suck at names. It's so bad. Um, but this is Johnny Too Bad. The next book is Death of a Salesman by Arthur Miller. I do not have this. I have not read this play. Haven't read it. The next book I already own, but this copy is in such much such better condition um, that I just had to pick it up. And this is 13 Reasons Why by Jay Asher. I think I'm going to get rid of my other copy because this one is nice. So the next book is The Blondes by Emily Schultz. This book looks really interesting. It even has a blurb from Margaret Atwood that just says, wow. Um, but this is about um, a society where girl, where um, blonde people have more of an ability to carry rabies, I guess. So they, they, they kill blonde people, I guess. I guess anyone that has a blonde gene, they get rid of. And they, um, so girls are always trying to hide their blonde with like dye or under hats or whatever, I think. I think that's what it says. Yes, a rare, where an epidemic of rabies-like disease is carried by only blonde women. As someone who is blonde, well, dirty blonde, but blonde-ish, um, <laughs> this book looks really cool and interesting. The next one I'm really excited about, and that is Going Bovine by Libra Bray. I heard this is really good, and I found it for really cheap at the book, at the thrift store, so I couldn't help myself. The last book that I ended up getting from the thrift store was The Darwin Awards by Wendy Northcutt. I have this, but I have it in paperback. I don't have the hardcover. <laughs> so I guess it's time to get into my new books. I forgot a book in my last month's haul, but I'm going to tell you again this one. So, because I can't remember if I got it in September or October, I'm not sure. Um, but when I was in Croatia, I picked up two books. One book is downstairs in my bin for Christmas um, for my dad. Um, it is a Ramon's book in Croatian. Hopefully he doesn't watch this, which I'm sure he won't. But if he does, Shit. Um, no, I'm just kidding. Um, and then I picked this book up for myself, and this is obviously, you can tell by the pay, the front, this is Paper Towns by John Green in Croatian. I know I won't be able to read it because I don't speak Croatian. I wish I could have got it in German. Um, but I don't speak Croatian. Um, but this was just, I couldn't help myself. I really wanted, like, a book, um, a book souvenir, and this was what I picked up. I got the, um, this is actually my first illustrated edition of Harry Potter. I haven't gotten the first book or the second book. Um, I actually bought two copies of this book. I got one for my friend Melissa um, for, I usually get her these books for Christmas. Last year I got her the first and the second book for Christmas, um, but I was going to save this one for Christmas, but her birthday came up in October, so I got her a copy of this as well. And this is my favorite Harry Potter book, um, so I got this in the illustrated edition and it is... It's gorgeous. I couldn't help but get myself a copy. It is gorgeous. I need to get the other ones, but um, I, I know some of you aren't really Harry Potter fans, but I just, I can't help with how gorgeous these illustrated editions are. And this one especially, I just needed to have. I absolutely needed it. The next book I had was another pre-order that I definitely needed, and that was Turtles All the Way Down by John Green. Um, this is a signed copy. The next book I picked up was Moxie um, by Jennifer Matthew. I hope to get this, to this before the end of the year, but we'll see. The next two books that I picked up are by Todd the Librarian here on BookTube. Um, these are both available over on Amazon if you want to support an independent author. I really recommend supporting independent authors, especially on BookTube, because we are such a great community. We need to band together. I haven't read this one yet. I haven't I haven't even paged through it yet. I just haven't gotten to it, because we all know my TBR is a mess. Um, but I did read the first short story in this, 
in the peri paroxysm of fear um and it was creepy <laughs> um but but good creepy has anyone ever read these these are, i think they're these are supposed to be kids stories but they were they were not kids stories they were really scary as, and they still are really scary um the scary stories to tell in the dark this is the treasury of all three books but that's what they reminded me of like i feel like i feel like todd's like stories and his writing should all be turned into really creepy um illustrations or really creepy like it would be perfectly paired with like the illustrator from these books and i feel like it would be perfectly paired with like like a tim burton-esque kind of cartoon like dark like dark cartoon like every time i hear like one of his story ideas that's what i think of my mind immediately goes to like like this first short story immediately went to like a dark cartoon like a really creepy eerie dark cartoon i need to get into animation just so i can make animations to these stories todd we need to get together i need to take an animation class <laughs> so we can do this the next book that i picked up was saga volume two which was actually in my wrap up for the month the next book that i ended up picking this up this month was they both die at the end by adam severa i haven't gotten to read this yet but i will get to it eventually i meant to get to it in a readathon I just didn't it just didn't happen the next book is wings by elizabeth richards um this is the last book in the black city novels i do have it but it's an arc that i picked up at a thrift store so i kind of wanted the finished copy of it this is the last book i haven't gotten to the last book yet and i'm kind of scared to to get to it because i'm afraid I'm, I'm not ready for this to be over because I, these are like have been a guilty pleasure and I've really been enjoying them. Uh, so the next book I picked up was Alice by Christina Henry. Um, if you know anything about me, if you've been watching my channel for a bit, you know that I read Lost Boy and I absolutely freaking loved it. It was so good and I haven't read any of her other stuff. Um, this was one of my most anticipated reads of the year. I loved it. It was fantastic. It was like Peter Pan meets your favorite slasher film meets Lord of the Flies. It was fantastic. I loved it. It was gory. It was bloody. It was it was a beautiful, beautiful twist of a retelling. And yeah, I hope that Alice is the exact same way. This is set in Wonderland, I believe. Um, I think. And the next book that I picked up is Violent Ends. Um, this is a novel told in 17 points of view and it is about um, a shooting, a school shooting. And this is actually my November TBR buddies on Goodreads. I've, I'm in a group where you pick a book from your TBR for another person or from their TBR for them to read that you have read. And this was the book that was picked for me by um, a lovely person named Teresa. She told me to pick this up and I am really actually really excited to read it and I finally bought it this month. So the last book is Your One and Only. This is an arc that was sent to me by um, HMH Books, um, HMH Publishing. Um, and I'm so, so grateful that they sent this to me. Um, like you, you have no idea. Um, so this comes out in February. February of 2018 so I am going to read it in advance and do a review for you guys on it but I really recommend you you know put this one on your radar put it in your Goodreads to read pile pre-order it get ready for it because I think it's gonna be a good one um, so this is about a boy who is the last human in existence everyone else is clones um, and this clone girl ends up falling in love with him so that's it those are all the books that I bought in October with the exception of another haul that I will be posting for you guys shortly I'll see you guys later peace I'm out I love you bye